We've learned about the explain command, which is how we figure out what the database is doing when it does a query. But what does the database do to figure out which index it should use? Now, let's say you have a collection with three different indexes on it. An index on A, an index on B, and an index on C. We'll call that query plan 1, query plan 2, and query plan 3. And you specify A, B, and C, all three of them, when you do a query. Now, the database could use this index, or it could use this index, or it could use this index. They can't use them all three. It can only use one of them. What it does the first time you do this query is it will run those three query plans in parallel. And time will start, and these query plans are running. And as soon as one completes, then Mongo will return the answer to the query and memorize that it is, in fact, query plan 2, which is index B, that's going to satisfy those types of queries. This is kind of cool because it's basically running experiments on your actual data to figure out which index it should use. And you don't have to do anything to make this happen. It just happens behind the scenes. But I just wanted you to sort of understand that broadly. And every 100 or so queries, it will forget what it knows, and it will run another experiment if it has to just choose between those indexes again. And just to review, if you have a compound index on, and I'm going to do it differently this time, on DCBA, DCBA in that order, if you have a compound index, then in order for the database to use this index, you have to specify some left subset of these items. So if you specify just D, it can use the index. If you specify D and C, it can use it. If you specify D and B, it can use it, but it only really uses the D part. If you specify C and B, it cannot use it because it didn't have the D part included. And this is true whether or not it's using it to do a sort or whether or not it's using it to do a find. And although I didn't say this explicitly, you should realize, of course, that find, find one, update, and remove, they all can benefit from indexes. OK, let's do a quick quiz. This should be kind of a review for you. Given a collection foo with the following index, A, B, and C, which of the following queries will use the index? And you can see the four choices here. Check all that apply. 